Hi, welcome to the shop. My name is Rob Murray, and I want to introduce you to a very unique woodworking tool, the Hawk Precision Scroll Saw. You see, for over 20 years, the folks at Hawk have literally changed the way folks do woodworking. Before the Hawk, people used traditional tools like the bandsaw, the scroll saw, and the jigsaw. But today, professional woodworkers use the Hawk Precision Scroll Saw because of its versatility and its unique design. Over the years, there have been improvements to the Hawk. In fact, there have been four different generations of Hawk Precision Scroll Saws. They keep the Hawk as the number one choice of professional woodcutters. Whether you have an entire shop full of tools or you're just getting started with your woodworking hobby, the Hawk is a perfect choice. You see, with a piece of scrap lumber and a pattern on your wood, you can make just about any project. In fact, you'll be making projects the first day you get your Hawk home. Listen to what this new Hawk owner had to say about their Hawk on their very first day. My husband bought me a Hawk last July and I love it. I was making compound cuts on the very first day. A Hawk is the best investment you can make, whether you're a hobbyist or professional. We're going to make several projects today and you'll be able to see firsthand how you would use a Hawk in your shop at home. In fact, we'll be doing some fairly intricate projects and some fairly si simple projects. Now, patterns can come from absolutely anywhere. In fact, a simple pattern could come from a cookie cutter or even a children's coloring book. Now, there are literally hundreds of different project patterns available in books like this, where you just photocopy the pattern and cut it out. You can find patterns that are simple or elaborate. This simple little children's puzzle we'll be making today. You simply cut the project out. It doesn't matter how difficult the pattern looks or how intricate the pattern is. You're simply following a line with the hawk. So you'll be making great projects the very first day. Now here's a simple pattern for a children's puzzle. It's in the shape of a frog. We're going to make this puzzle by taking our photocopy of our pattern, getting some spray adhesive that you pick up at the local craft supply store, and lightly coat the back of your pattern. Then what you'll do is put it on your wood and smooth it out. Now the wood that I'm using here is just plain old three quarter inch pine. In fact, it's a scrap piece of lumber from a project I made a few weeks ago. And when we complete our project, we'll have ourselves a little frog puzzle. Now remember, the hawk was designed to overcome the frustrations that folks had with the tools that they already had in their shop like the bandsaw and the jigsaw and the scroll saw. You see, if you try to make a project like this with a jigsaw, even though it's called a jigsaw puzzle, it's nearly impossible. With the hawk, we're simply following the line. When you come to the point that you want to make a sharp turn, you'll spin your wood and make the cut. That's really all there is to it. It doesn't matter how intricate or how simple the pattern is. Now, if you've ever tried to make a puzzle like this on a jigsaw, you know the entire time you're cutting, that blade is bending and twisting and binding. You see with the hawk, it's just as simple as following a line. If you've ever used a bandsaw, well, this project would be impossible with a bandsaw. A bandsaw is one continuous blade. And when we need to make a, an inside cut, like on the eyes and the mouth of the frog, that would just be impossible. To make a sharp turn with a bandsaw, you use a technique called relief cutting. In relief cutting, you would back out and come back in and back out and come back in until you made your sharp point. With the hawk, you simply spin and make your cut. If you have a traditional scroll saw in your workshop, you can tell right away that the hawk is a very different kind of scroll saw. Scroll saws traditionally have a stroke of about 5 32nd of an inch. The hawk has a stroke of 7 8 of an inch and it's running at 1750 strokes per minute. So we're able to cut through material much faster and much smoother than a conventional scroll saw. Let me show you four ways the hawk is different than a traditional scroll saw. First of all, take another look at the frog puzzle we've cut out. See the square cut? That means the blade operated squarely throughout the cutting process. 
That's important if you want to make a puzzle that goes together and comes apart correctly. The blade carriage system on the Hawk keeps that blade square and under just the right amount of tension while you're busy following your pattern. Secondly, take a look at the finish on the piece of this project. It looks like they've already been sanded. Well, they haven't. That's part of the exclusive stroking action of the Hawk. On the downstroke, the tool makes the cut, and on the upstroke, it cleans out your cutting area and literally polishes your sawn edge. Every woodworker loves the sound of these three words, no sanding needed. Now watch this. That's a 7 8 of an inch movement in the blade. A traditional scroll saw would provide about 5 32nd of an inch movement. Here's why that's important. The long stroking action of the blade allows you to move faster through your material and allows the tool to clean out the cut and keep the saw from sawing its own sawdust. The longer stroke keeps that blade from overheating and breaking. Blades last longer on a Hawk Precision scroll saw. The one word every traditional scroll saw owner knows is vibration. Even though the Hawk has a longer length of stroke than a traditional scroll saw and a higher operating speed than a jigsaw, it's virtually vibration free. Smooth operation isn't a coincidence, it's by design. You see, in operating a scroll saw, weight equals vibration. The fourth generation Hawk, the G4, actually engineers the vibration out of the machine. So although we're traveling at 1,750 strokes per minute, the machine itself actually absorbs vibration and keeps that vibration from transferring to the tabletop while you're cutting. Let me show you a few of the reasons why. At every point that the Hawk is connected to the base where the vibration is transferred from the motor is a vibration reducing material. You'll see here at the tilt mechanism that it's made from a reinforced nylon material. On the rear, where the arm supports are, there is a single piece of cast iron famous for reducing vibration. You see at every point that the, the motor transfers vibration up towards the table, it's isolated and reduced. Utilizing a unique I-beam construction from the arms, you'll see at the pivot point, it is thicker and reinforced. As it tapers out towards the end where vibration would transfer out, which would actually cause blade breakage, you'll see that it tapers out and becomes much lighter. Now the I-beam construction is similar to that used in all types of industrial applications. So you see the, the Hawk really will provide you with a lifetime of vibration-free performance. You don't need a shop full of tools to enjoy using a Hawk. In fact, a corner of your basement or garage is plenty. Now today you're going to have the opportunity to see firsthand five different kinds of projects. You'll see us do simple projects and more intricate projects. But you'll have the opportunity to watch the Hawk put through its paces and see just how it performs in every one of these kind of projects. With the Hawk G4, you're not limited to cutting thin and soft woods. In fact, you can cut woods up to 2 and 5 eighths of an inch thick. That's walnut, cherry, oak, ash, whatever your favorite hardwood is, you can make a project simply with the Hawk. Now the project that we're going to do today is one of my favorites. It's a trivet basket. I use these as gifts for uh, young couples that are getting married or even anniversary parties. They're wonderful. Now this is all cut out of a single piece of walnut and I'll show you exactly how I've done it. What I've done is I've taken my wood and I've glued the pattern on just like we talked about earlier. You see this is going to be the basket part and this is going to be the outline. Then what I've done is I've taken my drill and I've drilled holes in each of the area that's going to be scrap. We're going to be doing insider piercing cuts. So we'll, we'll drill all that out and then we'll begin the cut. I haven't talked about how important it is, the stroking action of the machine itself while it's cutting. So let me show you. The Hawk comes preset with an exact vertical stroke. On the downstroke, the Hawk makes a vertical cut. And on the upstroke, the Hawk makes a vertical cut. But to cut hardwoods, to make the saw cut fast enough to keep the blade from heating up and ultimately breaking, which is one of the frustrating things about a traditional scroll saw, what we're going to do is we're going to actually adjust the stroke. And it's real simple. First, what you're going to do is release the tension on the blade. Then you'll take your Allen wrench that's supplied with your Hawk, and you'll slide it into the front nose cone here, and you'll simply turn it to adjust this nose cone in the forward or the backward position. 
Now we're going to adjust it slightly to the back of the machine, which will allow the hawk to do more of a traditional cutting action like you and I use on a handsaw. On the downstroke, we'll make the cut, and on the upstroke, it'll pull back in a relief. Now this is very different than thin material cutting, which we would do perfectly square. Now that we've adjusted our stroking action, we'll put the tension back on the blade and we'll get started with our project. Now to make our inside cuts, of course, we release the blade off of the uh, upper blade holder, turn the tension back on and get going. Now you'll see cutting three quarters of an inch of good American black walnut. The weight of my fingers is more than enough to keep my project on the table. If you've got a traditional scroll saw at home, you know how frustrating this can be, where that blade's trying to pull the project out of your fingers and bang it on the table. With the hawk, it's quite simple. Now we would continue to make the same cut over and over and over until we completed each of the inside cuts that you see in the project that I'm working on here. Now the table on the hawk tilts 45 degrees both left and right, and we'll use that for several different projects today. In fact, we're going to use it for this one. You see this is a circular cut that we're going to make over and over and over. And when we're done, it's going to create the basket on our project. Now you can see that that's been cut at an angle and see how it locks together? That's because every cut was made at three degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to tilt our table, which is quite easy. You simply release the lever on the front and it'll go all the way to 45, both left and right. We'll set our table at about three degrees. And let's get started. Now again, we're just following a line. We'll follow that pattern right around the line, all the way around, until we complete our coil at three degrees. Wow, what a great project. We're finished up. There's our tilted table cut at three degrees that makes our basket go together, and of course, all the other cuts that we've made. Now let me show you something else about the tilting table. In fact, let's really tilt the table this time. We're going to go 25 degrees. Again, the easy to read vernier gauge here on the front shows you exactly where it's at. Now let's make our cut. This is a great project that I make around the holidays. I can't believe how many times I use scrap wood to make projects that people love. This particular project I made so many times this holiday season that I've got the pattern memorized, so I didn't even take the time to glue the pattern on the wood. This would be a great project to use those cookie cutter patterns for, and you'll see why in just a minute. With our table tilted, you get a very different effect. In fact, you could use this to decorate the edges of projects. You could use it like routed signs. You can use it a million different ways. What we're gonna do is finish up a little Christmas ornament. I'm going to set the table back at zero and follow right around the pattern that we've already cut. Now this could just as easily be a snowman pattern or really any other Christmas shape, but we're going to make a little Christmas tree. See, making sharp points are not a problem with the hawk. You simply spin your wood and make the cut. You don't have to worry about the blade bending or twisting, and you certainly don't have to worry about the saw trying to pull the project out of your hands. Now we're almost done.
And once again, with another piece of scrap wood, we've made one of my most popular Christmas projects. A little Christmas tree ornament. The Hawk G4 features a 26 inch throat depth. That's the distance from the back of the blade to the front of the brace. So you take the 26 inches times two, and that would be 52 inches. That would be the largest project you could make on the Hawk. That's the size of the breakfast table at home. Now you'll see the central blade position keeps their project equally supported all the way around when working on those larger projects. That's really important when you take a look at some of the larger projects I've made in my shop at home. Now with the two-way tilting table, you'll find that's important to create all kinds of projects. It might seem like a small feature unless you've experienced the limitations of a traditional scroll saw. Since most scroll saws mount their motor on top of the base, the table will only tilt with full movement to one side. I can only imagine how you would follow the operator's manual from a traditional scroll saw and install the blade in the machine backwards and cut in a reverse direction to achieve the required angle. With the Hawk, you simply set your table using the easy to read vernier gauge on the front and you make your cut. You're only limited by your imagination, not by your tools. All that aside, it seems to me there's some common sense involved here in mounting the motor and electrical components under the base and away from damaging sawdust. Your tools are excellent. I started out a few years back and bought your Hawk 14. Then later I bought your Hawk 220. Now I purchased the G4. Keep up the good work and the great tools. Now I told you that the Hawk is the first choice of professional woodcutters. In fact, the Hawk is designed to use day in and day out, every day, all day if you want to. Let me tell you a little bit about the warranty. This is just how confident we are that the Hawk will perform for you literally throughout a lifetime. The first scheduled service on the Hawk is 20,000 hours of use. Now, if you and I shared the saw for the rest of our life, we probably wouldn't make it there. But our commercial cutters actually do. These machines run in commercial applications eight hours a day, six, seven days a week. First scheduled service is 20,000 hours, and it comes with a complete six-year warranty. Everything on the machine is covered for six full years. Now let's get back to project building. I'll let you in on a technique the pros use to create projects in their shop. In fact, you've heard the old saying, time is money. That's exactly what it means for a professional woodcutter. So why not take the same amount of time to make multiple projects? Now what I've done here is I've taken four pieces of eighth inch Baltic birch plywood and I've secured them together with packing tape and I've applied my pattern on the front of the project just like we have for the other ones. Now it's a matter of just cutting the project out. We'll use the exact same techniques we've already used and we'll make our project. Let's get started. Now we've got four pieces of Baltic birch plywood stacked up here, an eighth of an inch thick. Remember, you've got two and five eighths of an inch capacity with the Hawk G4. So we could stack these up twice as thick, and instead of cutting out four, we could cut out eight or even 10 if we wanted to. So you can see the same amount of time that we invest to cut one project, we're cutting four. Now this particular project that we're making here is a traditional Scandinavian base holder. And what makes this project great for stack cutting is that we're going to cut all four pieces. Now these pieces have to be identical and there are four sides to our base holder. We're going to cut all four of those pieces at one time. Don't be intimidated when you see a detailed project like this one. Front work is one of the most beautiful and impressive types of projects you can complete with the Hawk. The great thing is they're also super easy. We're simply following a line. Even though there's more lines, it's not any more difficult. Now here's the part that makes a Hawk scroll saw owner a huge fan. When you're doing inside cuts or when you need to change the blade out, it's very simple. You simply release the tension and open your blade up off of the blade holder. You'll notice I didn't get any tools out to do that. I can just do that right here without even getting off of my stool. Now there's a couple ways that we could do this. Each time that we're making an inside cut, we'll feed our blade through the drilled hole that we've made and we'll make the cut. Now we can feed that blade 
from the bottom through the top, simply reattach the blade, feed it right into the this hole there in the upper blade holder, put your tension back on, and make the cut. Or, this is a new feature on the Hawk G4, we can release that same tension and we can release it from the bottom. This is great for bigger projects like this one that I don't want to lift up off the table and feed the blade through. You'll just release it from the bottom, feed your blade through that hole that you've drilled in your project, put your arm retainer on, which holds it down so it's easy to get back into the bottom blade holder, feed it back into the bottom blade holder, tighten it back up, and put your tension back on. So you see the Hawk G4 gives you the versatility to do it either way. For larger projects, feed your blade from the top, through the workpiece, and reconnect it at the bottom. Or for smaller pieces, or whichever way you like to use it, you can release it from the top and feed it up. It's really your choice with the Hawk G4. Wow, look at the project. You see it's a vase holder where we'd put a flower vase in here. But look at the fretwork, and look at the each side. There are four sides to the project, and all four sides are identical. They're all identical because we cut them at the same time. We made this project in a fourth the time it would take with a traditional scroll saw, simply because we stacked our wood and we made our cuts all at once. Now that was really important on a project like this because you see that each piece has to be identical on all four sides or it simply wouldn't have fit together. So that square cut becomes even more important than ever. Now you can cut all kinds of materials with the Hawk. You could cut plastics, you can cut glass, you can cut metals. In fact, you can even cut paper and make personalized stationery. Now the Hawk is a multiple speed machine. In fact, it's variable all the way down to 30 strokes a minute and all the way up to 1,750 strokes a minute. Now we would slow it down to cut material like this plastic just to keep it from fusing together. And again, we'll just feed into the blade and make the cut. You see, the, get, you're always going to get the same performance out of the machine. No matter whether you're cutting something like this plexiglass here. And I'll tell you who really loves this. If you've got a quilter in your house, quilters love to make their templates with the plastic just like this. And you can cut it out quite simply. Again, you just glue your pattern on the plastic and you follow around and cut it out. And again, we get the exact same performance, that exact same polished edge that we get on wood. We're going to get on plastic, metals, even paper. Let me show you a great project here. What I've done is I've taken some plain old paper that I got at the local office supply store, and I cut it in half to make a personalized stationary size. And I put it in this little shop jig that I made. Now you could do this much easier. You could take this and put cardboard on both sides of your stacks of paper, and you simply cut it out. Now I've taken a couple initials here, you see the K and the C, and I've cut those out same way we did the inside cut before. We're going to release the tension, feed our blade through the drilled hole, and make the cut. Now cutting paper, you can cut at high speed just like you do wood. Put your tension back on. And we'll cut them out. Now, like I said, you could use the, a jig like this if you make a lot. In fact, I made a lot. I've made a little replaceable place here, so I can cut them out for just about everyone. Now, let's see what we've done. We'll take our paper out of the jig. Who wouldn't love to get a piece of their own personalized stationery? Now the great part is you could give these to friends at the office for their birthday or even during the holidays. Here's the best part. There's about five cents worth of paper here. So you can make personalized stationery for just about anybody for pennies, literal pennies, using your Hawk Precision Scroll Saw. I've always bought the cheap tools. This is the first top of the line I've ever had. It feels good. Let's take a look at how effortlessly this cuts through this two inch black walnut. Now the project we're making here is a box, a jewelry box. 
Now what's most important here is you'll see that it's not a problem at all for the hawk to make this cut, even though we're cutting through two inch solid walnut. Power is delivered by an industrial grade TENV motor with a unique variable speed control system. This unique power system delivers full torque to the arms at every speed from 30 strokes a minute to 1,750 strokes a minute. You'll never have to worry about the Hawk stalling in thick or hard materials, and with the Duratorque system, you won't have to worry about that your motor will overheat with heavy use. It truly is an industrial grade power system. So again, it doesn't matter whether you're cutting small projects or thin projects like the fret work that we did before, or a thick hardwood project like this, you're always gonna get the power you need from the Hawk delivered right to the machine to keep it from stalling out. Now after we finish following around that pattern, let's take a look at what we've cut. We made our first cut, which was the interior cut, and we're doing a little heart-shaped box. So this will be the body of the box. We've gone around and we've made our first cut. Now we're going to go back around the outside of the project and finish up the body. Now look at that finish. It's the same finish that we've made all along. Whether it's plywood, whether it's hardwood, whether it's softwood, there's that famous hawk finish that doesn't require any sanding. Now we're going to do the top of our box. Now we've taken the same material, the same black walnut, however it's much thinner. And this will make the top piece and the bottom piece. You see it's in the same shape as the heart that we've made before. But we're really going to take this project up a couple notches. We're going to make an inlay right in the top of the box. Now this is where it's important to have a vertical stroking action because we're cutting thinner materials. So we'll set the stroke back in the vertical position. There's a set point on the adjustment nose cone to indicate where the vertical stroke is. We want the blade to stroke vertical in this instance to make sure we correctly cut the intricate corners of our inlay while also cutting with the table tilted. With a three degree tilt in the table, we will make a cut that is intentionally tapered. This tapered cut will make the two contrasting pieces of wood fit snugly into each other. So first we'll cut out the pattern just like you see it on the wood and then we'll come back and we'll make our inlay. Any good woodworker will tell you that having the right tools in your shop makes all the difference. It's projects like this that make the Hawk Precision Scroll Saw such a joy to use and fun for people to discover just what kind of projects they could complete stuff they never thought would be possible, things they never dreamed they'd be making, because it's so simple. We've made some terrific projects today, and we've used the Hawk to make every one of them. Now let's just talk about a few of the things that make the Hawk different. We'll recap what we've talked about as we've made these different projects. First of all, remember you can cut thin materials, super thin. You can even cut veneers with the Hawk all the way up to two and five eighths of an inch capacity. You saw us power through that walnut when we made the jewelry box. The Duratorque power system, whether you're cutting metals or plastics or woods, it doesn't matter, high speed or low speed, the Duratorque power system always delivers the power you need when you need it. The table forward design on the Hawk is unique and that it sets forward of the base. So you can comfortably set on your shop stool and have complete center of gravity while you're cutting. The rugged vibration reducing engineering at every vibration point gives the Hawk absolutely the smoothest performance of any scroll saw, even though you're using a much longer length of stroke. When making inside cuts or piercing cuts, you can loosen the blade from the top or the bottom, so you can easily feed your blade either through your project, from the top to the bottom, or from the bottom to the top. That makes a huge difference. That's a giant time saver. The automatic retention, you can't get it wrong. When you detach your blade to retension the blade back to the exact same setting, you simply flip the lever. That's all there is. The cam tensioning on the rear of the arm sets your blade tension for the size of blade. 
There's an easy to read chart that you follow that will show you specifically what tension you should have on the blades you're using. There's no guesswork. The two-way tilting table, 45 degrees both left and right. So you have complete capacity to do literally any project on a bevel you want to do. The adjustable stroking action gives you more versatility than any other saw. An exact vertical stroke for cutting thin materials or precise cutting, and a much more aggressive stroke for cutting hardwoods and thick woods, and it's completely adjustable. The dust blowing system works off of the little bellows below the lower arm. That pumps while the saw arms are moving and keeps your work line clear for you. And the warranties, every hawk comes with two. First, a 30 day in the shop guarantee. We want you to try it out for yourself. Try it out for a whole month. Make sure that the Hawk does everything you want it to do. If for any reason, return it, we'll give you a refund of the purchase price. Now it also comes with that six year commercial warranty we talked about. Everything on the machine is covered for six full years. There are no exclusions for electronics. There are no exclusions for wear parts. We guarantee your Hawk to work for you six full years. If anything goes wrong, we'll take care of it. In fact, most folks we never get to hear from. Now it also comes with lifetime tech support. You see, you're buying from the factory. Hawk isn't sold at your local home center or hardware store. You buy direct from the factory and we'll offer lifetime technical support. If for some reason you're working on a project and you have a question about your tool or even a question about the project, simply give us a call on our 1-800 number and in seconds you'll be visiting with a real woodworker about how to get through that project or to answer any questions you might have. The Hawk is so versatile it can grow with you even as your interests change, whether your interests are country crafts or fine furniture building, or even jewelry making, quilting, whatever your interests are, you'll find the Hawk will be a part of your workshop forever. Now I hope you've decided to add a new Hawk to your workshop. I hope you've decided to make this the tool for your shop. Be sure to check out the special offer we've enclosed with this video. If you order within the next 10 days, not only will you save more, but you'll also get a free gift. You can order your new Hawk online at hawkwoodworkingtools.com or give one of our tool specialists a call on our toll-free 800 number. The number is 1-800-487-2623.